Hi, welcome to Code Hunters. In this video, we will learn how we can configure our environment with UiPath Cloud Automation. By the end of this video, you should be able to create a tenant, create a modern folder in UiPath Orchestrator and assign a user to the same, and then configuring the robot and connecting your local machine to the Cloud Orchestrator. So let's start. First log in to cloud.uipath.com. I am already logged in here. Once you log in, you will be presented with this screen. Let's go through this screen briefly. This menu on the left hand side is the overall menu and you can access specific modules from here. Like you can go to your admin panel or download the studio from here or directly access the orchestrator from here. Here is your default tenant and link to your orchestrator. Below are the details of licenses that are available to us in community version of the orchestrator. To configure the tenant, you can click on this manage link. To edit the settings of this tenant, you can click on this tenant settings link. Here you can see the name of my current tenant is default tenant. I can go ahead and update this. I will update it as Code Hunter. And you can select all the services for this tenant and click on the save to save changes. And you will be provided with a prompt. You can click on the proceed to save the changes. Now to navigate to the orchestrator, you can click on this orchestrator link to go to the orchestrator. You can go through this tour if you want. I will go ahead and cancel this for now. The first thing we need to do in the orchestrator is to create a modern folders so that we can add robots and users to this folder. Here you can see we have only one that is shared folder. To create a new modern folder, click on this tenant link and then we have to go to this folders tab. Now click on this add new folder icon and provide a name to the folder. I will give this as a default folder. Here you can add the description to identify your folders as well. I will go ahead and click the create button. The folder is now created and the default user is already added to this folder. Now to add robots or configure robots, you can go ahead and click on this edit button. And here you can come to the robot setup tab and here you can see you already have the attended robot as enabled if you want to enable the unattended robot click on this button and click on the update once that is updated you are ready to go now let's launch UiPath assistant and go to the preferences. Now you have to go to the orchestrator settings and the service URL is the URL of your orchestrator. So you can copy the URL from here and paste it to the service URL and click on this sign in button. It will open a new tab and it will ask if it can open the UI path or not. Click on the open UI path and it should sign you in. Here you can see the robot is now connected to this URL. So we can close this out and let's launch UiPath Studio. You can close this tab if you want. Once the UiPath Studio is launched, open any process. And here at the bottom you can see the UiPath is connected to the orchestrator. And you can see both the folders that we have in our orchestrator that is default and shared. So this is how you can connect your local machine to the cloud version of the orchestrator and start using it. Hope you liked this video and it helped you somewhere. See you in the next video. Thank you.